Now go, my minions. Perfect. Soon I shall have enough power to operate my teleporting device. Then I'll have access to my underwater base, which is now inaccessible from the land due to past events. But once in my underwater base, I'll have access to my wide arsenal of past weapons, and better yet, the modified evil orbs. With them I shall have power over the sea and all the creatures within, being the next step in my plan. No one can stop me now. <laughs> All right, team, there have been reports of power loss over West, and it's not the normal kind of blackout. Do you think Ogle is behind this? I don't have enough information yet, but it'd be safe to assume so. What should we do, sir? Well, I guess if we go to the emergency zone, smart one. Thank you, Crunch. I think. Well, do we all need to go? It's just a power outage. Knowing Ola is not a normal power outage, she's probably using the electricity to form some sort of giant electric vaporizing pool or something. Flex is right, though. Only a few of us really need to go. Radiant Charge, go cover the area. Well, sir, you're right. It seems the power has drained from the city. Yes, after some electrical work, I deduced that the electrical currents were forced from the original sources to an external source, and I found traces of heavy magnetism. Good work, you two. Now we know for sure that Ogle is behind this. If we can simply find his base, we should be able to perform an infiltrate and capture. Excuse me, sir, but maybe I can help. I found police reports of mysterious rocket launches from 40 latitude and 56 longitude. It could be how Ogle transported the draining source. Good job, TV. You were able to cut down the length of this video drastically. But we're going to have to know about this base first before we just go there. This calls for a reconnaissance mission. Any volunteers? Me! Definitely me! I'm good at secretly watching people. Alright, Flex, you can do this. But before we even start the first step, we have to do a pre-first step step. Which in itself is kind of redundant. But nonetheless, we can use TV to... Already on it. I've searched nearby locations of any possible entries to the location TV listed earlier. Since I'm guessing aerial entrance is out of question, I look for more for a more unnoticed path. TV, if you would. Right here is a small water pond. The pond is actually so deep that it leads to an underground river that surfaces right near Ogle's supposed hideout. If Flex were to use the sub, he could easily stop beneath the surface and sneak up through the water hatch. He would then proceed to wherever need be to gather info on Ogle. Radia, why are you giving orders? I'm pretty sure I'm the leader around here. Flex, you know everything Radia just said? Do it. Roger that, but I'm going to need someone to use my car to lower the sub into the water. Since I built the sub, I'll get it into the water. When shall we depart, Dash? Oh, let's say 0300. But that's an hour ago! Then you'd best be leaving. Okay, so the hook attaches to that, loops over here, and is lowered from up there, right? Yes, and once I'm at the end of the line, literally, I can detach it mechanically. So once the tug loosens, reel it in. Gotcha, best of luck to you then. Thanks, with Ogle, I'll need it. Almost time to surface. This should be interesting. Well, this is definitely where Ogle resides. Now, time to see what's happening. It seems all the electricity is focusing on that small point at the top of the tower. I'm sure those two dishes are what's gathering it. But that's not enough to just steal it from the cities. Wait, what are those? Bombs of some sort? They seem magnetic. That's it! Time to go back to the team. Well, crud. Well, Flex has been gone quite a long time. You didn't exactly give him a curfew, you know. Yes, well, usually Flex completes reconnaissance missions pretty quickly. Maybe he forgot where his parking spot was. Dash, I've lost signal from the sub. It's either crashed or been destroyed. Okay, now I'm worried. Yeah, because you weren't before. Can you reach his radio? Nope, it appears to be drained. Looks like we're going to have to perform a direct, uneducated assault and break into the armed place unarmed and perform a dismantle and rescue. Hold it, Dash. First, we're going to have to catch up with the recently spotted rocket. 
It's the second time it's been spotted in this area. Okay, team, put that really long titled mission that I just stated on hold. We're heading out to get more info. Any reason that this one hasn't done anything yet? Well, I can take it back to the base, and Cam and I can reverse engineer it. Don't I get to say in that? Fine. Do you want to help Charge reverse engineer the orb? No, not really. Well, that's too bad, because you're going to. Okay, well, let me collect it. It could very well be radioactive. Um, Dash, I think you should come see this. Paper? I'm pretty sure that doesn't belong here. Wait! This is from Flex. He got caught by one of Ogle's drones, but he drew a diagram of the defense system. It seems that a large wall is built around with numerous spots of aerial defense, and he is now taking extra support of his water and underground entrances. Seems the only way in is by breaking down this wall. Well, how do you think he got it in the orb? My guess is that he was put on the orb line in the base, and since I have read this movie script, I know he also flies in a rocket that delivers the orbs to the cities. You read right ahead? You weren't supposed to do that. But either way, Ogle's probably brainwashed Flex and put him on the rocket. He probably snuck this letter in the ore before his brainwashing. Well, now we know what to expect. Excuse me, sir, but if I may interrupt, I've been evaluating the diagram sent by Flex, and if it holds true, I think I have found a defenseless weak spot. On the east side of the wall, towards the front corner, the guns are focused in opposite directions, and this area can be easily breached. Perfect. Now we just need to find a weak spot. I suggest we attack this part of the wall that has no guns. Isn't that what I just- Perfect! Now how can we break the wall down? I could easily use my best explosive, the rocket launcher, and probably demolish the wall. I don't know if missiles are the best resource. It would create a huge explosion that would be far too large for our survival. Although the rocket launcher may still be of use to us. Give me a few minutes so I can evaluate the defenses and advise a plan. You do that. The less work for me, the better. While he's working on that plan, the rest of us can go play Go Fish over there. Okay, Dash, I've got it. If you'd all refer to TV... In our present collection of vehicles, we have my speedster, Crunch's rocket launcher, Flex's rope truck, Radius satellite boat, and Dash's helicopter. Since aerial assault is out of the question, we're not so easily going to be able to use Dash's helicopter. As stated previously, Crunch's rockets will cause too much damage for us to do anything. It did just accomplish blowing up Ogle, which may sound good, but we must remember. Flex is in there. So that leaves us with three vehicles. We either must devise a plan with those three, or get the other two to be usable. Now, we could always take out the explosives in the missiles, but that'd make them not able to take down the wall. Then we could take out the guns along the wall for aerial support. These ideas got me thinking. What if we do both? First off, we need a mediocre explosion to take down the wall. We also need to be a safe distance from the blast. After that, I calculated the safe distance zone where we are able to blow up the wall, while still no damage to the bases ourselves. With how far away we'd have to be, we couldn't easily set up a bomb and run, or drive. We could, however, fire missiles. So here's the plan. We convert Radio's craft to a hovermobile, and she drives by and disarms the radio frequencies traveling to the gun. Then we have the ability for Dash to fly in, but we can't all fit in that helicopter nor can make enough trips for the time to get over the wall. So instead, he can drop off a base target for our bombs, which I can explain later. Once accomplished, he will fly away, hopefully unnoticed. After that, TV and myself will drive by and carefully administer the exact doses of bombs to the base. They aren't timed, so we will be able to get out of there. Next, Crunch can fire his now non-explosive missiles to the target, previously set up. Now, I can design this base where when the target is hit, the bombs are triggered, thus blowing up the wall. It's a long process, but it should be go unnoticed by Ogle, because he will be distracted by the guns being down, not even thinking to check outside. Any comments? Have any nines? Go fish. Dang it! Uh, oh, charge, you're done? Oh, were you paying attention? Uh, something about Crunch's missile. No, uh, yeah, you can tell us the plan on the way to Ogle's base.